today. So today is the last in our series on heroes of faith and we're looking at a hero of faith called Abraham and also his wife Sarah who also was a hero of faith and we're going to be thinking more about them later on and um, I'm going to be talking more about that. But before that we need to worship together don't we? So let's get off the sofa, give ourselves a wiggle. Are you in your pyjamas? Maybe you are. Whatever we can worship Jesus. I'm going to pray and then we can worship God together. Jesus thank you that whether it's sunny or rainy outside that in our homes we can worship you together whether we're watching on our phone the computer the tv that you are with us during this lockdown period and i pray we can worship you together now amen our god is a great big god our god is a great big god our god is a great big god and he holds us in his hand Our God is a great big 
Hi everyone, I'm Ruffy. I hope you've all had a lovely week. Should we call Colin to see if he'll join us today? Ready? One, two, three, Colin! Hi everyone! Hi Ruffy! Hi Colin, how are you? I'm okay, I got to have spaghetti last night for tea. Ooh, Yum. that sounds so nice. Mm. Hmm. Apart from, I didn't get what I wanted for tea last night. Oh, Ruffy, what did you want for tea? Well, Mummy promised us chicken and carrots and then she gave us cat food. Oh no, that's a bit sad. Yeah, cat food's disgusting. Yuck. But guess what? What's that? Well, grown-ups, even grown-ups sometimes make mistakes, which means they can't always keep their promises because we all make mistakes sometimes, right? I suppose so, yeah. But guess what? We've got a great big God who loves us so much and he never, ever, 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 ever breaks his promises. He always keeps them. That's so cool, Colin. Yeah. How about you pray, Colin? OK, let's pray, everyone. God, thank you that you love us and you never, ever, 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 ever break your promises that we can always trust in you. Amen. Amen. Bye everyone! Bye! Bye. Trust the Lord with all your heart, all your heart. Trust the Lord. Jesus is our King. We're gonna dance. We're gonna sing. Yes, He's our friend, and He's here for us forever. He will never let us go. What a love story to show and tell the world. He's amazing and forever. Trust the Lord with all your heart, all your heart. Trust the Lord, trust the Lord with all your heart, all your heart. Trust the Lord. Sing and shout and show our friends what it's about. To be like Jesus every day, to be like Jesus every day. Oh, sing. And shout and show our friends what it's about To be like Jesus every day To be like Jesus every day Trust the Lord with all your heart All your heart Trust the Lord Oh, trust the Lord with all your heart All your heart Trust the Lord Trust Him in the good times Trust Him in the rain, trust Him with tomorrow, trust Him with today, trust Him in the good times, trust Him in the rain, trust Him with tomorrow, trust Him with today, trust Him in the good times, trust Him in the rain, trust Him with tomorrow, trust Him with today, trust Him in the good times, trust Him in the rain. Trust Him with tomorrow, trust the Lord with all your heart, all your heart, trust the Lord, oh trust the Lord with all your heart, all your heart, trust the Lord. I wonder if you can think of 
of a time when you've made a promise, made a promise to someone. So I've got a talk time when I made a promise to someone. So we've got three children, Joshua, Abby and Hannah. I'm sure lots of you know them. And about three years ago, um, we went to somewhere really special. But years before that, we kept saying, so I kept saying, I promise one day we'll go to Disneyland. I promise. I said the words, I promise. And the children are like, oh, that'd be amazing. But I don't know if they ever expected it to actually happen. And then three years ago, they came down the stairs. We did like a big treasure hunt and they opened the box and the balloon came out and it said, you're going to Disneyland in 10 sleeps. And they were like, yeah, we're going to Disneyland. And then 10 days later, our promise, we kept it and we went to Disneyland and we had a great time. Have you ever kept a promise to someone? Or have you ever had someone not keep a promise? That's another thing, isn't it? Did you remember Colin and Ruffy today? Did Ruffy's grown up keep his promise? No, he didn't get his chicken and carrots, did he? He got cat food, even though his grown up promised him chicken and carrots. Blech. I wouldn't like to have cat food, would you? So that's a time when someone broke a promise. My daughter Abby wants to come here about tell you about a time where someone broke a promise to her, don't you Abby? Come and tell us the story. So what happened Abby? Okay, so one thing you should know about me is that I play the violin and I like playing the violin. And um, in my old school, my primary school, which was Christ the Saviour, um, I went to this um, violin club called String Ensemble. And the teacher was, he was a nice guy, but he could sometimes be a bit, yeah. Um, anyway, um, this week, all of us at String Ensemble, um, um, he had brought in some lollipops and he promised all of us who were really good to have lollipops and we were all like yeah we get lollipops let's all be really nice and well behaved but at the end he found out that there were so few of us to string ensemble and because it was nearly summer holiday some people hadn't come and um, yeah that he nearly that he had um almost enough lolly lollipops to give to all of us so he thought well I might as well just give them all a lollipop so he did but then he found out he was one lollipop short. Oh no! Just one lollipop short. And so he said to me, would you mind if I gave you your lollipop later um, or next week? And I was like, okay, yeah, as long as I still get the lollipop. And the and next he week- he promised? Did he say I promise? He promised. He said, <gasps> he I promised, promise to give you, a you will get the lollipop next week. And I was like, okay, great. And and the next week, no lollipop. No lollipop. I didn't no. get my lollipop. That's really and sad. And to this day, that was like two years ago. And now I'm in a different school. I'm in um, secondary school now. And he still hasn't and given me a lollipop. still remember. Thank you, Abby. You say goodbye and you're going to come and see us a bit Bye. later on, aren't you? I've got a secret. Maybe we might give her a lollipop later. Can't wait for you to see. So sometimes even grown-ups don't keep their promises, do they? Sometimes we all sometimes make mistakes and we say, oh, I promise, and then we don't quite follow through with it, do we? So today our story, we're looking at heroes of faith, Abraham and his wife, Sarah. And we're gonna be thinking about a promise that God made to them. So let's just sit back and watch the story now and we'll come back to you in a minute. The Faithful Hall of Fame. Sarah. This is Sarah. Hi. Sarah was Abraham's wife. One day, as Abraham sat near the entrance of his tent, God appeared to him. Abraham looked up and three men stood before him. God promised Abraham that he and Sarah would someday have a son. Ah. In fact, God promised Abraham that he would have many children. Oh. Even more than the stars in the sky. Uh. Now, Sarah was very old when God made this promise. When she heard that God promised to give her a child, she laughed. The messenger of God stopped Sarah. He asked, is anything too hard for the Lord? Sarah chose to trust God and she became pregnant and she gave birth to a son. The son's name was Isaac. 
God's promises came true for Abraham and Sarah. Abraham became the father of many nations, and from his child came children, and from their children, more children, until Abraham's descendants were truly more numerous than the stars in the sky. Abraham and Sarah trusted God for the promise and believed that God was faithful. I hope you enjoyed the story. I love Saddleback Kids, don't you just love the little hello? They make me laugh a lot. So today was about Abraham and Sarah. And can you remember what God's promise was to them? That's right, he wanted to give them a baby. He promised them a baby. And what did Sarah do? She laughed, she laughed her head off. I don't know, you remember a time when someone tells you something and it's just so unbelievable, you just laugh, you feel like that could never happen. It was that type of laugh because Sarah was really old, like your great, great, great grandmother old. She was too old to have a baby, yet God was promising her a baby. How was God gonna keep a promise like that? So I wanna have a little chat about promises, so Abby's gonna come and help me. So just to have us a little think about promises. So this is a piece of paper. And is it hard or what? It's floppy. It's quite flimsy, isn't it, this piece of paper? So let's pretend this is a promise that a, a human has made. So a person, not God, a human has made. Now it's quite flimsy, this piece of paper. So what can you do? What can happen? Can you, um, can you rip it in half? Easy. Yes, see? It was easy to rip in half. We can keep promises, but... All of us make mistakes sometimes, and sometimes we don't always keep our promises, and it's easy for them to rip up. Now, God made a lot of promises. He makes lots of promises in the Bible, God's word, and that tells us all about the promises God's given to us. And I had a little book on Bible.com that is such a thing. And did you know, I'm just checking it here, that God makes 7,487 or something like that. Over 7,000 promises there are in the Bible that God makes to human beings. 7,000 that we know about in the Bible. Now, that's one promise, wasn't that bit of paper? Now look, what have I got here? Oh, this is a ream of paper, okay? Oh, it's quite heavy. There's 500 pieces of paper in here. So, those of you who are good at maths, Oh, if we get another one, I'll hold that one. Ugh. That's a thousand pieces of paper, okay? And how many did I say promises I said God gave in the Bible? Seven thousand. So there's another thousand, Abby. <laughs> so that's four thousand promises. So and that's God's made a, even more than that's that. That's right. I haven't got any more paper. So you've got to imagine up to here. Now, Abby, would, can you rip that in half? Uh, no. Go on, try. <laughs> oh, no, no good. <gasps> However hard, oh my days, <laughs> however hard we try, even the 500, can't rip that in half, can you? And that's just a little way, visual way of us thinking about God's promises. God never, ever, ever, ever breaks his promises to us. Ever. He is always faithful. Like that thin bit of paper, sometimes us humans can not keep our promise and it can, the promise can be broken. But God's so strong and faithful, his promises never break. Do we, should we give that to Abby as you never got your lollipop? Oh, there thank you go. You. Thanks, Abby. Um, God always, always keeps his promises. So back to the story. The baby, what did they name him? Isaac. They named him Isaac. And do you know what Isaac means? Just getting my Bible here. Isaac means son of laughter. I reckon maybe he, like, I'd like, you know, we don't know. This is just my, my thoughts. It doesn't say this in the Bible. But I reckon a good reason to call your child son of laughter. When you think of the laughter that Sarah had, because she was so surprised that God would give her a baby when she's so old. That, that helped her remember by calling him Isaac. Every time she could say his name, she can remember how faithful God was to her and still was to her every single day. And the good thing is, God doesn't just keep his promises then. He keeps them now. He keeps his promises now. Sometimes things don't turn out the way we want. We all wished COVID was over a long time ago. It's not over yet. But we can still trust God to be faithful because we can read in God's Bible and God's word in the Bible that he never, ever breaks his promises. And not only did he give them a baby, he also promised them more children than stars in the sky. I mean, that's an outrageous promise. More children than stars in the sky. But that is what happened. Abraham had descendants, so many, so many children who had children, had children, had children, had children, had children. 
more than stars in the sky. And do you know who else was part of those descendants of stars in the sky that God promised? It meant that God was faithful with another promise. He promised to save us all. He promised to send a saviour to save us so we could be with God forever. And who was that? Shall I read you this last bit? This is a, this is a book called the Storybook Bible. And I'm going to read you the end of the story of Abraham and Sarah in here. It says, God would do as he promised. He would always look after Abraham's family, his special people. And one day, God would send another baby. A baby promised to a girl who didn't even have a husband. But this baby would bring laughter to the whole world. And this baby would be everyone's dream come true. I wonder if some of you have already guessed who that baby is. Well, next week and the week on, we're going to start getting ready for just that fun, tiny little day we celebrate every year called Christmas. And we can find out more about that baby and more about God's special promise to save the whole world. Shall we pray together now? Why don't you just maybe, maybe you want to hold your hands out just to help you concentrate. That's what I do. Jesus, I thank you that you are always faithful and that you always keep your promises. And I pray for every boy and girl, whatever age and every grown up watching this, that this week, Lord Jesus, they will know that you keep your promises, that they can trust you with whatever it is, maybe something going on at school or at home, or maybe just finding lockdown hard, that they can trust you because we know you are always faithful and will never, ever break a promise to us. Be with everyone now. Amen. You're a good, good father It's who you are It's who you are It's who you are And I'm loved by you It's who I am It's who I am It's who I am You're a good, good father It's who you are It's who you are It's who you are It's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am, because you are perfect.